always wanted to live in the bush and given my wife she, she grew up in the country and so I think we would definitely we were heading this way. Uh, I moved from Newcastle to the Thora Valley uh, almost three years ago now. I think one of the reasons why we moved was just to slow, slow life down. I, I don't think we have ever been busier now that we have a property to look after as well as work as well as a lovely growing family life is just flat out they say the city never sleeps but the forest never sleeps as well it never stops growing the river is something special and it's a place you go when you need time to think and you just throw your thoughts out into it and it washes away but it's also the place where we spend a lot of family time swimming around and snorkeling and go down there during the half hour before the sun goes down you see old man black was swimming around lots of fish jumped, snakes, uh, eels watching the floods is amazing just to see such our river just turn into such a wild, wild beast Belinda is a cow that we have recently purchased. It's been an interesting learning curve to deal with such a large, large beast, particularly when you're literally under her belly, pulling out her udders. <laughs> it's it's um, something that definitely didn't come natural to me at first. There's a sense of fear, I suppose, when you look at those hard hooves that she's kicking around. And she has the most delicious milk you've ever tasted. Ah, uh, we have seven sheep. And, uh, I went to the farmer's markets on Saturday and we got some, a few ducks, two ducks, and four chickens. This valley is renowned for being the Valley of the Serpents. The other night I saw the biggest python that I've come across yet. Living with pythons is something that is definitely I haven't got used to it yet. I definitely don't miss the noise. Um, the sound of train tracks at your back door, the soot from the coal loader. I suppose the cities could be quite an aggressive place as well. Everyone's trying to get somewhere quickly. I definitely don't miss that. In moving here I expected a sense of peace, a sense of freedom, a uh, sense of growing of the self and I've got all that, it's just a lot of hard work and hard work is, is a good thing yeah, it's still going <laughs>